Here's the issue with a lot of things in the productivity app community. Everyone's always talking about these workflows. They're saying, use this, don't use that, use this, don't use that. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing in this video. So I just bait and switch the heck out of you. Just like I feel like tick tick bait and switches the entire market. So I think tick tick is pretty great. It's the first task management app I ever tried in like 2017. I know I didn't stick with it. So maybe that's not a vote of confidence, but what it did do is it inspired me. It inspired me to think in different ways and think about productivity apps in general. And the fact that like tracking your tasks via an app could be a thing. I used to always use like a written daily planner. You know how weird that was back in the day? Ugh. Granted, not ugh if that's what your preference is, but you're watching this channel. So I hope you don't really do that. Regardless, you can use TickTick -Tick for task management in a three pronged workflow. First and foremost, by using TickTick, -Tick, you're going to have not only a task management app, but a focused app. Let me explain. So getting right into TickTick -Tick itself, you see that on the side here, you have tasks, a calendar if you want to pay for the premium view. And then you have nice things like Eisenhower matrices. You have a habit tracker, which can be used very well. And you'll notice that I won't recommend other apps in this workflow to use habit tracking because TickTick -Tick has it built in. And then you also have a very nice Pomodoro timer. So when you're working on different things, whether you be on your phone or on the computer, you see that there's a setting in the back end here for you to do a focus timer. So on this computer, for me, it's Control-Alt-P. If I do Control-Alt-P, this little doohickey pops up right here. And then if I press Start, it'll do a little focus timer. So I can set this to be a Pomodoro Focus, a stopwatch, and then I can even look at the statistics if I press the button right here. It'll send me to a web page that'll show me the statistics of the different focus blocks I've had. And if I use the premium version, it'll show me the timeline, little year grid actions, more views. And all this is very convenient for those of us that care about how often we've been focused. So that's a main reason I wanted to have this as an option for task management because it kind of does pretty much exactly what you need for just checking boxes off and tracking your habits. And then also, if you go to the Google Workspace Marketplace, you can get the TickTick -tick application installed. And this actually works with your Gmail and also it can be connected very easily to your Google Calendar with Zapier if you so choose. But I personally think that Google Calendar is probably the best route to go if you wanna go for like a full stack free option here, right? Because you have this Google Calendar and then in your Gmail, you can go to the side here and essentially say, I open this up, I authorize the access. I can easily manage tasks on the side within here with the TickTick -tick integration. So if I open up this, I can be like, all right, we can take all this content really quickly, add it to a new list copy. I can add it to any of these lists like RP notes and I could set the due date to today and I could say fix make.com automation, save it as high priority, and then add the task. And then very quickly, if I went back in here, you'd see on today, this fixmake.com integration would pop up and it would be linked right back to my Gmail. So this is a very quick and easy workflow for that. But then when it comes to everything else, I do not recommend that you have your project or knowledge management within TickTick. Like how about no? So then the very obvious question comes up, what would I use for everything else? Well, for your knowledge management, I would recommend this special app called Notion. Now, if you've heard of Notion before, <laughs> then you'll know that it's really great for things like holding recipes. As you can see here, I have all of my recipes within Notion. And what you can do is you can have a very nice like sidebar or top bar that would just navigate between all your resources. And then you could use it as a reference material resource rather than a place where you're like managing your tasks. So in the book library here too, I can easily navigate between you know, what I'm currently reading, sort it by different titles and whatnot, pick it by genre, a little self-improvement. Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. He's a boss. And it's just a very beautiful way to look at all of your different knowledge management. If you try to do it in something like Tick Tick, it just won't work. Like, what are you going to do? Make a bunch of lists? You're going to use like Tick Tick notes? No, you're not going to do that. I refuse to let you do that. The ability to go into these pages and take notes very easily about the different parts of the book, have nice templates set up so that you can easily take those notes, resurface them later track when you start and finish books or when you need to pull up a quick recipe, whip that up on your phone or pull it up on your computer. This is kind of the right way to go. We don't use task management apps for knowledge management. Just like we don't not shamelessly plug the rest of our content at the end of videos by saying you'll probably be more productive if you check out this video.